All right, as always, here's the risk disclosure. Trading futures is risky. Know what you're doing before you do it, and you can lose all your money. Also, this live stream is not financial advice. It is for educational purposes only, and the live stream is not intended to copy my trades. Good morning. Today is... Tuesday, June 27th, got on after uh, 10 a.m. here with some news and stuff, just hopped on real quick, I actually, as I hopped on, I saw this great trade, (laughs) I didn't even have time to, uh, uh, what's it called, start recording, so market just started moving, started dropping, hopped in the simplicity here. Uh, tightened up once we hit the deviation level here. Tightened up. It came up, popped up, knocked me out. Haven't had an LRE yet, so... You hop over to the 30 tick. So, you see, here's the 30 tick. Uh, looking for a LRE, a little pullback here. Might get one off the dev here. So, let's see. We're at the red ice, though. But, uh... We're in a nice, nice move down here. So let's see. <clears throat> Throw on my LRE ATM. It's 907. Yeah, we got some room there if this pullback happens. I don't see why market would really stop yet. Um, let me go to the 30 tick. We have this mini magnet ZOI down here to pull it down. We have settlement right below. So, yeah, I'll be looking for a an LRE because right here is our down move. We had this here kind of close to an LRE. A little pullback here, but not an actual LRE yet. Uh, we are building up some little levels here on the 10, but there's still enough room to grab an LRE if it pulls up. So here's the 10 tick. See, it's kind of laying quite a bit of OP there, right? Crawling on this red ice level. But if we pull back to this deviation, I may take the short if we get something nice off of it. There is a cluster on the 30 tick. So let's see what we have here. Oh. Okay, that didn't work out. Hopped in real quick. Took me out. Shot up. It actually consolidated too much. uh, So I probably should have stayed out of that one. But it's all right. I'm still up because uh, this move down here didn't quite get me to my profit target. But, um, yeah. So now we have some HD building up on the 30 tick. So, HD building up here at the ice levels. A couple of little nice levels there. So, I would be looking for this to continue short. Potentially make a settlement run. Let's see if it, what happens here, if it chops around first or not. Go back to my simplicity trail. I don't know. This, this is going long, but it, we have a couple mini magnets up here, too, that it may be pulling up to. But with this move, it very well could retrace up to this area and then stop. So I kind of want to be cautious. Be cautious of that. Still got a lot of HD building on the 30, but I mean, it might just run up. See what happens here. There's not a lot of room between here, though. About eight points. So let's see if it stalls here.
And if it doesn't, if it keeps going, then I'll look for an LRE because I don't want to take this trade, this simplicity long here and going right into these mini magnets. Now, if it ends up continuing and breaking up and keeps going up, then I'll look for a pullback LRE. But I think this is pretty much the area that it's going to stall. And then we'll see what happens if it chops or if it continues short or what it does. Now, if we go, if we get an entry below this red ice, then I'll hop in. So the HD on the 30 tick bar closed short with a little TX and trapped orders laying a ZOI on this magnet. So not sure if it'll just run down or not, but let's see what happens because we are in between the two ice levels here. So we'll see. See, it is kind of chopping around here. Might be laying a mini magnet here on the 30 if it closes down, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, it went away. I was trying to lay a mini magnet right here on this same level, but it, it went away. So... Might make its way up to those double mini magnets. Got a couple clusters on the 30 tick. Right here. See if it makes its way up here. Now if it makes its way up and breaks up, breaks those mini magnets and continues long, then I'll look for a pullback somewhere, but I'm not still not too convinced that's gonna happen. But it could definitely happen, so we gotta wait and see. I hate that I didn't get my first trade on this on this uh, recording. I was trying, and I was getting everything prepared. <laughs> Opened up my recording software and saw the trade start to go, and, and I said, "Well, gotta get the trade." 
not going to skip the trade for the the recording, so. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Another cluster on the 30. So there's some indecisiveness happening at the moment. Yellow cluster, cluster, cluster. Really shouldn't have taken that pullback. That was a bad trade. Oh well, all good, all good. Those are the trades though that I hate the most is when I, I hate taking bad trades. Good trades losing? Okay, cool. No problem. But when I took a bad trade, and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have taken that. But it happens. We're human. Right? So. <laughs> just got to control the emotions when that happens. As long as you just keep it cool, then no problem. All right. Just trying to make its way back down... Well, we're at the deviation now. Let's see if it tries to make its way back down to this red ice level and test it or not. Ten tick. Thirty tick looks ugly. Uh, Fifty tick is kind of, I mean, it's not really in a chop, but it's just kind of, see, here's the move down I got in. And then now it's just kind of like, look at this big wick right here, a wick right here. So, yeah. Just wait and see. All right, coming up and hitting those mini magnets now. Oh, I didn't even notice, but look at this. We have a burger on the 10. That's a ZOI in between two mini magnets, and not only are those two mini magnets, they're mini magnets from the 30 tick as well. Okay, so let's see what happens here. We got a little short setup, a little sniper short here with some ODD. That should be a winner. Yep, that one off that nice level. Look at it come down. This is a nice trade right here for, us, for the sniper, sniper trade. Might even get that set up on the 30 tick. So came up, tested those double mini magnets. Let's see what it's gonna do now. Now if I get a long above those, I'll probably hop in. Actually I will. Cause if a long happens above these mini magnets, a simplicity long, I have no doubt we'll run up to, back up to the deviation up here. Doesn't mean it'll happen. Just because I have no doubt. <laughs> that just means I'm confident in the trade, and if it loses, it loses. 939.50 would be a breakout bar on the 50 tick. Where's that? 939.50 right below this ZOI. So that'd be nice to get an entry right here. I would prefer an entry. Hmm. Wish that ZOI wasn't there, but let's see. We're still crawling here, so it might not even go up. Let's see what happens. I would much rather a short and take it down to settlement, just because there's more room. Uh, we do have this here that I mentioned that I, earlier as a target, but let's see. Let's see if we get along here. Trying to go long. Both were angled up, but now they're not. Just 
trying to go long, but is struggling as well. Okay, we might get a setup bar here. We got a setup bar. Let's see if we can make it. We got a nice mini magnet on the 30 to push it up as well right here. So let's see if it happens. <clears throat> All right, I'm in. Hopefully it's not just a fake pop up. I'm gonna throw my stop behind this mini magnet. We do have this ZOI to get through, but I think it'll happen. If it gets through this ZOI here, my target's the first target's the dev up here, the deviation. So just hopefully it gets enough umph behind it to go. Technically, I could have waited to break the ZOI, but I don't think this ZOI is going to hold up. There we go. I'm going to tighten up. If this hits the dev up here, I'll tighten up. Because I think it'll run up here, but I just don't want it to stall out at the dev and then, you know, then I give back everything. So let's see. See, I'm going to give it a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm looking at the OP here, and there's a little crash. There's double clusters. I'm going to tighten up. Double clusters on the 10, just in case. There we go. Knocked me out. I'm cool with that. It bounced the dev a little bit. It'll probably go, but look. Right here. It came up. Right here, double clusters right at the dev. So it could chop around just a little bit. I think it's still going to go up, but it could chop around, hesitate, so I don't care. Grab my 50-ish ticks. And I'm good. Basically just recovered that LRE loss. <laughs> so. Let's see if we get an LRE. Uh, because if it comes back down to these mini magnets and tests the top of that, I would like it as an LRE. Lots of HD on the 10. Uh, I do need it to come down further, though. Uh, I'm skipping. I think this might chop around. As you can see, the solid line stopped here. Even if I still think this is going to come down to here, right here where we're at, and bounce up. But that is not the rules. So I'm not taking it. I still think that's what's going to happen. But the rules are this broke below the solid line. So if I break the rules and it doesn't work, then I only got myself to kick in the butt. Right? <laughs> and look, it wouldn't have worked. So that's why you don't break the rules. Even though my read was it would come out down to this area and bounce up. That was my read. It didn't happen. I didn't get an entry. I didn't take it. Don't make up trades. Do not make up trades. Easy to do sometimes, but don't do it. Trust me. <laughs> I've been there. If you've thought of it, I've done it. In my short, what, three-year and three-month career of trading. Just to come back full circle and do everything I was ever taught by Apex, Daryl, Lori, and John, and all them guys. And gals. <laughs> Alright. That actually... Uh, I'm halfway to my target, but that was, what, three trades? So I'm going to see... I can't have a losing day now, basically, because my next trade, even if it loses, I'm still above... still in the green... So I'm going to see. I'm going to give it a minute, see if we get a move. If not, I'll call it a day. 
two wins, one loss. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna give it a give it a second and see if we get a move. If we get this short move that I was looking for, then I'll probably take it. Uh, if not, if we start chopping or getting into some kind of consolidation or anything, or if it looks doesn't look too good in the next few minutes, then I'll call it a day. Take my take my profit. Not getting much of a read at the moment, the 30 tick chart. We have that little down move, cluster, laid some OP, little ZOI crash, another cluster, little coil chomp. So telling me right now, I don't want to take any trades. Even if we get a short simplicity, I don't want to take it right now because we're in this little nasty area. See, don't want to take it. I'll just let it go. And if it continues to go, I'll just look for an LRE. LRE. So I'd expect it really to come back down. If it does continue down, I'd expect it to kind of stall at the red ISO level again. I would look for a little reset and then another short if it happens. If not, if it resets and chops, then I'll probably just call it a day. Been a quick little day. I mean, it's been a few nice little trades. I think I've only been on 22 minutes so far. Uh, this trade, like I said, that first trade happened literally. I got out of it, and then I turned on the recording. So it's been 25 minutes, I guess. Got three trades. I might just call it a day. I, I'm, I'm going to wait and see if I get the move that I was looking for, like I said. And then if not, I'm going to call it. That's the key that's been very helpful for me in keeping my PA accounts, not blowing them, um, building them up. Sure, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but you know, I have my accounts are built up. This month, it's been a record-breaking month for me. So, and that's the key: is slow, steady, keep to your rules. Don't force things. Like I said, I'm I'm about half at half of my profit, but I've taken three trades. Do I really need to, to try to get to my profit target? If there's nothing presenting itself, then no. Just call it a day. Come back tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. Especially if let's say you have a profit target of fifty ticks for the day. And you're at 3540. Call it a day. Call it a day. It's not worth worth risking losing half your profit just to make up 10 more ticks or 15 more ticks. You know what I mean? Just call it a day. <laughs> All right. 30 tick chart. We had this little pull up. Mini magnet cluster. Let's see if that has enough to push it down. I mean, this isn't anything that I would love that I would say, oh, here's a signal that it's going to go now. Uh, just because this is kind of random in the middle of nowhere. But at least it's a reversal bar with a mini magnet. So let's see if it goes. Now here's a little ZOI crash. Let's just see where it goes from here. Now if it had laid this mini magnet lower where these mini magnets were, that would have been my signal. But it didn't. Oops, excuse me. It didn't, so... Oh, but look what's happening. Ah, it showed a little fake. Now we have a hugger. We got a mini magnet up top. Okay, I accidentally clicked. I don't know what it did, but that scared me for a second. <laughs> uh, got a mini magnet up top. Mini magnet on the bottom. So we, got a, we have a hugger. Right here in the middle is where those mini magnets were. So, eh, doesn't look good at all to me right now. Really doesn't. Today's only Tuesday, so. <sighs> Let's see. Like I said, let me give it a few more minutes. Let me give it, see if we can get out of here, out of this little area.
See those UI crashes. Look at it. Look at it. How it looks like on the ten tick. That's that's. I mean, if I was taking sniper trades, man, see, look for stuff like this. If you're taking sniper trades, market comes down, boom. Now, like, let's say it came down to here, it gives you a trapped Xbox laying a mini magnet on top of this. I'm taking that, and I'm expecting it to run up to the wall, just like it did. Obviously, there was no setup, so there's nothing you would take. But if you take a sniper trades, look for those type of things. I mean, that's nice. Like, those are those level three and four trades that Lori teaches. When you look for stuff like that, look for key levels. Like, let's say I'm back here, right? Market's back here, and you saw that it created this level. Right? It created, it created this. So, market's moving up. And then as soon as I get this, I'm like, ooh, I'm waiting for it to come back down and take a trade off of it. Okay, it didn't get there. Like, that's how you look ahead. I want to take a trade off of this. Okay, bam, it came down to it. No setup. All right, no trade. But as it's coming down, I'm ready. I'm ready. If I get a nice setup off of this, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. All right. Let's see here. It's trying to push long, but honestly, I mean, I would need it to clear this dev and wall and all this junk and you know just kind of make its way all the way up here if i'm gonna take a trade <sighs> let's see All right, still waiting to see what happens here. <laughs> we have a uh, one, two, three, four, four on the fifth bar of chop on the 50 tick chart. Right in the middle of the 0.5 and 0.25 deviation. Just chopping around. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> uh, let's see. And back here, remember when I said I shouldn't have taken this trade, then I was expecting it to maybe hit this and kind of chop around? Well, basically what happened. We got this little run, this little trade I took, but then it came right back down to that area, and it's just chopping all in between. See, that's a strong area, and that's why I was expecting chopping. Now, we know eventually the market's going to move, and it's going to get out of here, and it's going to run. How long will it take? Don't know. Could be in the next five minutes. Could be in the next two hours. So, look at the 30 tick. I'm not excited. Not excited at all. Look what's happening between the two mini magnets that I mentioned. Whoo, cluster, cluster, ZOI galore. And even a mini magnet in the middle. My goodness. Ugly. That's ugly. I don't care who you are. That is ugly. <laughs> <sighs> ugly, ugly. Yeah, I don't like to, to be on the in the market for very long or trade for very long. So I the this is everything I do stems from my discipline issues I had prior to becoming disciplined and 
consistent. And the reason why I limit my time, definitely no more than about an hour a day. I prefer to be in and out in 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes now that I've been on this recording. And the reason is the longer I stay looking at charts, and that's also why I, as soon as I'm done trading, I shut it down, shut it down. And I don't even look at the charts. I don't want to look at the charts. I put in my chart time already where I've stared at charts just to see how it moves. And the reason is because the longer I sit and stare and look at charts, the likeliness of me making a stupid de decision uh, increases <laughs> dramatically. It's like you can almost have like a bar chart or something, uh, some kind of meter where it's like shows the time increasing and my stupidity level increasing at the same time. <laughs> so, oh man, I bet you that, I mean, that's exactly what happens in my brain. So it's like, all right, my stupid meter is uh, on the rise. It's increasing fast. The longer the time goes, the faster that stupidity meter in my brain works. So, yeah. That's why, that is why I limit myself to trades and trade time. All right. I know as soon as I get off of here, though, the market's going to break, break out somewhere and run. But I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just going to see if it goes this time. Uh, if it fails here, it does not go anywhere, then I'm just going to hop off. I'm just going to hop off. Here's the 30 tick chart. Yeah, like, see, if this starts making its way back up, I'm just going to call it a lovely day, take my profit, and be gone. Because, see, here's the 50 tick chart, and it's trying to break out of the, that chop. <sighs> Still not a lot of confidence, though. Because even then, after it comes below, if it goes below this ice level, we have the deviation here. We have a lonely little ZOI here. Then we have the red ice and ZOI. So, not loving a run short until it breaks this. Because it very well could come right here and chop. Could come in this area and chop. Could want to test test this area back up here again. Give you a lot of fake outs. Eat you alive. And then you call it a day and then it goes on and runs. <laughs> That's how the market works. In case you didn't know. Or in case you hadn't experienced that uh, trauma. I have. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to run with this. I'm going to run. I think I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, calling it a day, uh, not too bad, still hit some nice profit for the day, 
so. Now well, now it's gonna probably want to go. Not too bad on the day. Uh, like I said, small adds up. Small adds up. Add all up together, and just every day you get small. I mean, it adds up. So. All right. I'm going to turn off my trade copier, throw it into global sim. Look at it. It's going to break out now, but I don't care. I already closed everything out. So, all right. I'm going to call it a day. Y'all have a great day and trade well. Thanks for watching.